Hey guys, it's Gigi, and I got a new video for you guys today. I have some social media if you guys want to go follow me on there. I post sometimes, sometimes I post funny things, but overall, you know I'm there if you want to follow me. So yeah, today I'm going to be trying out some Morphe products. All of my Morphe products, actually, that I have. Um, I recently just bought some items. I will also kind of be talking about my Morphe palette. So if you guys want to see how I created this look and also how I feel about these products, just make sure to keep on watching. So this first brush that I got is the Morphe MB9. I believe this was the Morphe Basics brush. Only $5 for this foundation brush. I mean, I been needing a new foundation brush so I went to go pick this up it's pretty soft so I'm already putting this on and I I don't know if it's something you kind of have to break into but I kind of don't really like how this feels on my skin after all it is brand new so I'm not going to judge it entirely it's definitely soft it's not hard on my face or anything I don't know I'm gonna have to try this out a little bit more and then let you guys know how I feel about it. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the rest of this process so I can get ready to do the eyes. And yeah, I'll see you then. Okay, now that I have the rest of my face kind of done, I am going to stop dropping things. I'm actually going to start off by trying their eyelid primer, which is a 12 hour long wear and waterproof, only $10, and it is their eyelid primer in translucent. This feels super creamy, so I like that it is actually kind of transparent doesn't really white out my eyelid like my Urban Decay primer does. And while that dries, I'm going to talk about the Morphe palette. So this is the 35B palette. Um, I believe when I got it, it was $20. Again, if you want to see all these beautiful colors that it comes with, I'm going to swatch a few of them for you. Not all of them because that will take up the entire video. We're gonna try this blue one right here. This thing wants to focus on the color, not my face. And I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this green one up here. I like these because they feel super creamy and there's not much fallout to them. Next one, we're gonna try this purple one. Oh, that one is super pigmented. Okay, there's a little bit of fallout on that. Oh, this red one for sure. I was excited about this palette because of the red really bad swatch by the way. That one, if you really want to try to get it to that red color, you're gonna have to swatch it a couple times to put it on your eyelid. That's just a few of these colors. If you guys want me to get into more detail over it, I can. Um, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna, we're gonna stop right there. Okay, so now that our primer is set, we're gonna go ahead and start our makeup look. I'm gonna use these tone colors over here. We're going to be using this color right here and I'm just going to be using just the flat brush. Any random flat brush I got going on here. But this is kind of just like a white nice brow bone color that I like to use like so. And then I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to use this Sephora brush. Just a rounded crease brush. Yellow over here that we got because it's super pretty. And I've been super into yellow recently. We're gonna put that right under our brow bone. I hope this yellow is really picking up on the camera. We're gonna go in with this orange right here in the crease area. This is the M139. And this was only $3. It's a crease brush with the sharp tip. Sounds about right. I'm getting everything mixed up right now, so. Put this in our crease. Just slightly, I'm not gonna focus on it too much because we're gonna go back to it right now. And now to use my third and final Morphe brush that I picked up. This is the Morphe MB16, $2.50, so these brushes are totally 
totally affordable and they actually I love the way these feel this one we're gonna be using this red color right here we're gonna put that all over the eyelid as you can see you kind of have to apply this a couple times and then I'm gonna go over it again just so I can kind of get that true red color that I want it to be okay that looks good <laughs> now we're gonna go back with the other brush we just used Morphe M 139 and we're gonna go back in that orange and kind of just blend it in to the crease area with the red and yellow kind of give it a little hue or ombre effect I guess if you will should I do like a sunset kind of look you know what I mean I think this is looking good so far but I kind of lost a little of the yellow on this side so we're gonna go back and like I said, we're kind of creating an ombre look, so if you spend too much time blending, you're totally fine. This is hot. We're actually... Ah! <laughs> we're actually gonna go and use this color right here next to the yellow. It's a shimmery, shimmery orange. Kind of peachy apricot -y color. Peachy apricot -y. Kind of like my hair. I don't really know what color it is. As far as this palette goes, I absolutely love it. I definitely recommend it, especially if you want to kind of go into colors and play with that because, I mean, it's kind of got every color in there that you need. Yeah, pick that up. Definitely pick it up because I love it. So now that I'm done with this whole eye look, I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild. So I'm kind of like shaky. <laughs> it's okay, you can't tell. It's turning out okay. So far, so good. Poke my eyeball. I think my wings. I think they look good. Now, I'm gonna apply these lashes from Morphe that I also picked up because I love lashes. These look very pretty, also. These are the Sunset Boulevard lashes from Morphe that were $3. I thought these were super cute and full, cool, so we're gonna go ahead and pop these on. Here's all over the place so now that I was struggling on my hair this morning because it just it wasn't a good day and I need a red dye it as you can tell it's kind of fading but red surprisingly fades really pretty I love these cla these glasses why do I keep saying glasses I'm getting so ahead of myself I didn't even curl my lashes can I curl them while they're on no I don't want to do that you know what? It's just gonna it's just gonna have to stay like that. I'm so upset I didn't curl my lash. <laughs> ah! We all make mistakes, people. We all make mistakes. So my camera of course decided to stop recording while I was putting on my eyelashes, but I absolutely love these eyelashes. I look like a flamingo. I mean they totally bring out the eyeliner first of all. I'm just going to be applying my NYX Dewy Finish. Let's see all the particles in here. For the last thing, I'm going to be applying this liquid lip that I got from Morphe, the last product, and this is in the color Hot Shot. This was only on sale for $8 when I got it. I believe they're $12, unless they were lying to me and it's always been $8 and I just, you know, I have a lot of reds and pinks. But I don't really have like a true red or like a really nice red, so I picked one up. Can't really talk while putting this on. I'm not used to applying lipstick anymore. I think that's the best it's gonna get. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh wow, that is super bright. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of this little kind of get ready with me. Um, it's kind of awkward, but I think we had some fun in there. I hope we did so if you like this video go ahead and like it and again if you are not subscribed make sure you're subscribed definitely want to make sure when I have a new video up have you tried Morphe I I obviously have I love Morphe if there's any specific products you want me to try from there let me know in the comments below because I would love to try some more stuff out obviously and yeah I think that is it I'll see you guys next time bye guys